Okay, this is test number one. And Priscilla Batzel at Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And it's a Saturday for me right now and I just want to have some fun. And I have picked out my colors and I want to remind you guys that my art is for sale. There's always my playlist in the upper right hand corner. The little eye will bring you to all the rest of my videos. Usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, there is an Amazon link to shop for things like my OXO Good Grips omelet turning spatula, which you'll see me use in a minute. And inside the description below the video is the recipe for my paint, which includes Floetrol and GAC 800 and the percentages you need and the shimmering additive that I put in there. And if you ever want my attention or you're interested in a piece of art, the file number is the hashtag with the number in the header, in the, excuse me, in the title. Um, if you want to donate to keep the studio going, you can do that through Patreon or PayPal. The links are in the description and there's an icon on my channel header. So, today, what I have in mind is using these colors, which is sort of kind of what I got over there, out of your line of sight. And um, I'm not going to use those right now. I did. I went to estate sales. I did go um, lawn sailing. Yeah, I stopped at one. <laughs> I don't do anything else but this. Are you care kidding me? Anyway, so I thought those might be cool for ring pours in the future at some point in time. And in the meantime, let's make up a pan of color, starting with the black that I need to use up that I just found. Because we can. That doesn't look like a metallic black to me. And I have a few other things that need to be used up. Maybe they'll come out, and maybe they won't, and maybe they won't. And I'll just put that over there to drain. So I have that color somewhere else. And I'll just use it from somewhere else. Get those little cups over there. Plank. And put my top somewhere else. I've got marbles in all of my squeeze bottles now to shake the color up so I will never have Floetrol coming out of the top again, which is a really nice feeling, actually. I think I'm just going to do a dustpan pour, and if I like it enough, I will, um, I will get funky. And maybe put some color in some pan and this may be longer than a 20 minute video who knows um, I'm just feeling willful not like actually calling anything a tutorial today just like doing what I feel like doing come off there okay cool that is my favorite color and it might be a lot of people's favorite color it's a neon folk art multi-surface but I haven't figured out how to keep it that color it, do it does dry darker and in some cases it dries like almost burgundy so don't expect miracles because I haven't been getting them. But we are having fun with my colors. These are the colors I used in my very first swipe, my very first swipe video. And I like them very much. So at least I know that much about this. And then I added the Prussian blue. You can hear the marble in there. I think I'm going to throw some white pearl in there, which I'm sure is white pearl this time, which was not my favorite moment when I used Floetrol instead of white pearl. Floetrol is the ingredient that I add to my acrylic paint along with GAC 800 to make it flow nicely. This is the white pearl. I think I'm going to throw some of that down in there. Is that? I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I thought it was, but maybe it's not. Anyway, so what do I want? What do I want? I want some more of that. And some more of this. And I think there looks like there's plenty of purple in there. I want some more of that pretty metallic turquoise. And then I'm gonna put this aside for a minute. Move the scoops I put in the way, out of the way. That's only one dustpan, but I've been waiting for a while to try. This needs to be emptied, that's cool. To try to, to spread just one dustpan on a wet base. And I'm gonna let that drip over. Somebody's ordering a pizza, cool. I know what's for dinner. <laughs> It's about five o'clock here, and this is the new camera we're trying out today. This is a test. I hope it works out. It looked really dark when I looked through the viewfinder. 
Um, maybe there's settings I haven't set yet, so you, nobody may ever see this if it doesn't turn out right, but I'll still show you the painting. I'm trying to compile a, um, an album of all the wet and dry artworks in my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors Group. It's, there's no special anything you have to do to get in there except for ask. And I would kind of expect anybody could go there. I'm going to attempt to reproduce that entire album on my Just Expressionist Art Studio Gallery page, which is where all this started. I have glasses on my head, and today I'm going to be smart and use them. Yes, I missed a bunch of canvas. Wow. And I saw that fly, and thank God he left. Because they really like white canvas, i got to tell you. I seem to have some schmutz, but we're so close to doing what I want to do. And usually I'll put a little black in the background, but right now, I think just to facilitate time, get this paint spread around, and to try what we're going to try with the dustpan, which, by the way, is always susceptible to my Rain-X. But those of you who are interested in Rain-X, who I've described the, the process to, just spritzing it above the painting, you have to know that we've had some people try it with their own formula mixed in the paint, and that has not worked for them. So, unless you're going to use my particular recipe, I do not promise you results. And I probably should have known enough to say that before. We've got a few bubbles from me shaking up the paint, but that's okay. That's what the torch is for. The torch is to help release any patterns in the Floetrol mixed paint, and it's also to release bubbles from me shaking it or the initial mixing process. There's always some bubbles, so you need to know about that. Scrape that off. Get as much paint off as possible. Throw it in the bucket. Okay, so this is a here goes nothing moment. I'm, oh, I'm so nervous. It's been a few days since I got out here. Let's just do this in two phases. Well, I say that now. It looks like there's more than enough paint to do whatever we want. And I have plenty of squeeze bottles handy, which means that if I so choose, I will just add whatever color I feel is missing. Now, I'm not going to use all that paint right now, even though I said I was. I'm going to throw something over the top of that dustpan, because I like what I see. And this doesn't have to take a long time. I did bring an edge catcher out with me. Ugly, ugly edge catcher, very brown. We try and avoid brown. I'm going to stick that. Where am I going to stick it? My, ed my edges are not all done. I kind of feel like, yep, yeah, just let that go over a little bit. I forgot what I was going to say, I'm sorry. Um, I'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah, I kind of feel like using the torch and seeing what we let loose now. Because there's no silicone in any of my paints. I also did not check to see if we were in frame. Which, now that I'm seeing what's happening with the paint, and we're releasing a few cells. Pretty colors. I love the colors. I'm going to check, make sure. I recently posted a video that was all of 65% and it was such a pretty piece. Yeah, let's zoom out. How about that? There's a duh from me to you. Okay, well, I guess I had every reason to be nervous. But, I did just use my dustpan to let some colors go where they wanted to. And, honest to God, I don't feel like doing a whole lot. Why don't we pull out my Princeton Catalyst spatulas that I love and are available on, where was it? It was Cheap Joe's the other day for a reasonable price. I don't even see anything I want to mess with. I just like this, just the way it is. But I did play with the spatulas the other day, and I did find out that I can, I can dip them in and swipe them and do all kinds of funky, cool stuff. I, I guess I ought to be willing to swipe a few things since I started this process. But the colors are sort of carrying it for me, and I just really like it. Let's see if we have any kind of composition at all. Yeah. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to. Because <laughs> it's a video, <laughs> and it needs to be done. I'm going to take the paint that's on my spatula and put it on the side. I'm also going to go over to my dustpan. 
I'm going to dip the spatula in and bring back some paint. And I can do that a bunch if I want to. We got awful pretty patterns in there, but we also got some slippery paint. And I can take and add some colors anywhere I want. Hopefully that's, yeah, no, I'd like to not be right under you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry about my head in so many videos, but you know, I'm kind of working and talking and focused and it just gets the best of me sometimes. I like that. Maybe I'll just like playing enough so that it won't bother me to destroy the pretty thing I've got. Yeah, I don't mind that. Let's keep doing that. Let's make some stuff up as we go along. Just by dipping the, sta the spatula in. And uh, if you've watched me at all before, you've seen also that I am inclined to move paint with my spatula. I'm going to put that back because I, that was fun and I want to do it again. And if it's wet enough, it will heal the paint. And also, the white background, you can pull and make new, whole new patterns. And so far, I haven't had too much trouble with uh, canvas coming back through and being an issue for me. No, don't ruin it. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. I know how you feel. I've been there on the other side of the camera. But it's kind of fun, and I'm liking it. So I guess I give myself permission. And I wish I'd stop being nervous and shaking. That would be nice. It's funny, you know, I, I understand. You guys have jobs and stuff, real jobs, because I don't have any other income than this. And if you take a while off from painting, if you're anything like me, makes you nervous thinking about, you know, going back and screwing it up again. I like to do a few spirals with my stuff. People well know. And I've got that paint on there and I just kind of want to... Yeah. I'm just going to have my way with it. we got six minutes left. And in case you don't know, my camera is usually shut off at 20 minutes. I'm going to assume that the new one does as well. I'd like to just call it done because it's cool. I like it. Let's do some more. Because we can stuff. Let's let the paint on the spatula just slide over the surface of the canvas and add some neat colors. Sort of, sort of swipe it out, remembering that we can drag through the white paint. We're just playing. We're always experimenting. If you don't experiment, you don't discover anything new. So far, I'm still having a really good time, in spite of my obvious shaking. <laughs> But it's not raining or thundering or doing anything weird today, which is kind of neat. It's just kind of late in the day, and I hope I actually, if I make a nice painting, I hope I actually get to share it with you guys, because if it's too dark, it's going to suck. Yeah, and if I've got some naked canvas, I'm just going to use my little spatula, and I'm going to tap, tap, tap it, and let the paint that's on it fall right down in. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. And I can always touch up white edges later. I'm not too worried about that. I'm a little worried about my composition right now. But it's still pretty cool. And I can dribble. Let's do a dribble carefully. Careful dribble. Well, any place, like I said, any place that the paint is missing. Just stick it back in the other paint and draw it down. That's neat. I like this purple paint here. I don't usually use this, uh, this diagonal, but maybe it's time to 
try it. I got something dragging on that thing. And I don't know what it is or where it is, but it's got to go. There we go. So, I have four minutes left. And I like this color here. So I'm going to use some of that. I'm also going to leave this up here. Very gently. And maybe a few more times. Let's we'll see. I want my flat front spatula, which is this one, obviously. And I have plenty of paint, which means I can change my pattern by dragging the spatula through. And if I have real trouble keeping the canvas covered, I still have wet paint. And wet paint moves wet paint, so I can drop some of the squeeze bottle color right in there the white specifically. And I'm still having a good time. And I think I like this down here. That shape is kind of happy. I like, I don't mind that there's white in there right now. And other stuff. And I'm gonna continue with whatever's on there. I don't remember using that color right there. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't mind some random looking patterns. I really didn't do a lot of torching to try and bring up anything. I like to drag the spatula through and create depth of design. Dimension is probably a better word. You can actually scrape up whole areas if you so desire. And while the paint is wet, they'll fill back in. I thought I was going to want to tip this a lot more, but I really, I really like the shapes we started with. we got two minutes left. I don't think there's much I need to tell you that I didn't tell you at the beginning. I think there might be always room for a little more gold since I don't see much. Yeah, and that will come out. I like my gold. It doesn't take a lot. Just sort of following my whims. I've got a piece of medical tubing around here that I blow through sometimes. I'm going to clean that off right now. I keep a nice damp cotton rag. Just dragging the skewer right through there. I'm going to do the same thing with that purple. I don't mind that purple mixing with the white either because I think we might have a chance at keeping some lighter purple color if that happens. I'm really curious about that to be honest with you. This is really cool. I'm liking it. Just playing, having a good time. Exactly what I needed to do. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to rain X this just because I like it so much. I think I have either some blue or some black, and I think it's going to be the blue. Right up there. Hopefully that wasn't one too many things. Why don't we change that up a little bit. I think there's plenty going on here now. tap in my missing spots that I can see and use the paint again it's on my spatula I see a little canvas there I don't mind dipping my spatula anywhere I want stealing a little paint tapping will usually cure whatever mistake it seems like I might be making I like those cells and I know the lacing cells will come if I have a little schmutz on my spatula but I like what's going on and that's our warning bell. I know there may be another minute. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'll touch up my edges. I'm pretty happy with that. Whatever comes now from torching is fine. The colors are exactly what I wanted. 
I really want something else in there, but I don't know what. I'm very tempted.